if you just wanted to have some like vegan mini tacos with just using the egg instead of making an actual flour shell that's always an option as well mmm this tastes so good All right. Let's get started. So I'm cutting up the vegan sausage. I made this vegan sausage from scratch by the way Comment down below if you would like to see a separate video for that as well the recipe So one sausage from scratch and we're gonna make our ground meat. It's gonna look just like ground meat It's amazing. Just blend it up in your food processor Chop it up for a couple seconds because you do not want to turn it to mush and there you go There's our vegan ground meat all set and ready to go set that aside now we're gonna do our buttermilk now this is pea milk pea milk in my opinion makes the best type of buttermilk compared to other vegan milks and you're simply going to add the uh, apple cider vinegar just one teaspoon to the pea milk and almost immediately you'll see the chunks start to come up but set it aside in the meantime because it needs to rest now add one cup of flour. I just use all purpose flour, but you can use spelt or kamut flour if you want a bit more digestible. And two full tablespoons of brown sugar. I wouldn't recommend any other sugar because the sweetness really comes through with these ingredients. Then we're gonna add our Dutch cocoa. Really add a prom uh, premium cocoa. Don't slack on the cocoa. And then we're just gonna add one teaspoon of air root. This is gonna give it a bit of a harder texture, but keep this inside of the waffle soft. And then you're just gonna add a bit of baking powder and whisk away. So whisk and blend up the ingredients really well. I didn't have a sifter, so I didn't sift my flour. There comes the buttermilk. It's all ready. It's so, so ready. It's just thick and nice. But now mix that in carefully. I think I made a mess, but I happened to edit out the video, so that's good. But just blend it in really well until you get a nice thick batter. And then add your red food coloring. This is vegan food coloring. It was my, my last spoon that I had left in my bottle, so I couldn't tell you which one it is, but next time I will find it. And I got more of a burgundy color with the uh, batter than a red, but it still came out good still good so in the meantime we're going to make our vegan egg so I'm spraying the pan with coconut oil you can use avocado oil and today's egg substitute is just egg which I think honestly is the best on the market so you're just gonna sp spread out a thin layer across the iron skillet which is what I'm using this is the iron skillet right to the edges get it completely covered and now we're gonna add some black salt, also known as Calamax salt. I should also mention that I have the heat on high and then I turn it down to medium after. And now we're gonna flip it. So once it gets a little soft, but with has a bit more texture and structure, then you know it's good to flip it. And again, keep the heat at medium after you get the structure because you don't want it to burn. And these eggs, vegan eggs, can burn. There goes the flip. Look at that brown. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Now let's add the Violife. Violife is life because it just melts so well and it has a good cheese texture. Like, I got it at Walmart and it's pretty good. And here comes my vegan meat, my vegan ground meat. Like, this is like the best breakfast omelet. Even if you want to eat it by itself, you're good. And then just add the spring onion. I, this is a good way to incorporate raw vegetables. You could add arugula if you want to, because that tastes good. And more vegan cheese, please. Because like I said, bio life is life. It tastes so good on anything. It really does. So you're just gonna flip it in half and then press down on it just to get the melting action on its way and then put it aside to rest. Now it's time for the waffles. So I sprayed my waffle pan with coconut oil, but you can also use uh, avocado oil is another good substitute. Those are the only ones I really play with. And then just add the batter slowly. Look how rich and thick that looks. 
I look really good. Real good. And we're just gonna have that cook for about five to seven minutes on high heat. Now look at the texture of the vegan egg. Like if you wanted to trick somebody, you so could do it. It's so easy. And it cuts really well. It cuts really, really well. And if you wanted to eat it just by itself without the waffles, you could. It makes a really light breakfast and some coffee if you want. It makes a really super light breakfast. And now look at that melt. I told you, Violife is life. <laughs> it looks so good and it tastes amazing. So now we're just gonna go ahead and cut up the waffles because these act as, as a sandwich, which is what I'm essentially making is a waffle breakfast sandwich. And then you can see, whoops, then you can see the, uh, the texture is really thick and nice. It is moist inside and just crispy on the outside. And here's the plating. Like I said, you can eat it separately, like how I plated it up here, or you can just have it as a sandwich, which it tastes amazing both ways, but the sandwich, honestly, it's, it's nice. Look at that melt. That melts bomb. Perfect. You wake up in the morning, look at your mom. So I'm gonna make you breakfast. Cause that stroke last night. <laughs> and that stroke. Ladies, you know that stroke. It makes you pop right out of bed, freshen up real quick. Make your man some food. Like, thank you. <laughs> what you did last night? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Treasure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That right there. That's your thank you. Great. Mm, 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 mm. It's good. Follow me on IG, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok under Asad VIP and check out asadvip.com for more recipes.